it was just the three of us, Rocky Mountain National Park, my camera, and me. While visiting my father about 30 years ago, I carved out a day just for myself. I was going to spend it at Estes Park, the gateway to the Rocky Mountains, and the home of Rocky Mountain National Park. Armed with my trusty 35mm camera, and this was decades ago, I ventured off to the mountains in search of the perfect pictures, things I could frame on my wall and brag about to my friends. Upon entering the park, I started my quest. Oftentimes got down on my hands and knees to sort of investigate soil patterns and seeing fallen limbs and flowers and ferns and all sorts of things from the close-up level. I scrambled up rocks to get a better view of the vistas, the mountains, the streams, the pine trees. I forded streams, got wet, just to see what was on the other side. I don't remember if I ate or drank or even went to the bathroom that day. I was sort of caught up in the moment. It was a blur. I was living the dream, taking pictures in one of the most beautiful places on earth. The wind rustled the leaves. You could hear the water crackle over the, the rocks. And my shutter clicked intermittently because I only had 36 frames. That was all I had on my roll of film that I took with me. When the sun started to set behind the clouds in the west, I thought, I'm on. my day is over. I've got to head home and go back to my car. So pushing the small button at the bottom of the camera to sort of start the rewinding process and then turning the crank, uh, my heart sank a little bit. There should have been resistance. There should have been a tug or pull as I wound the crank. There was none. Furiously, I wound the crank even more and realized something wasn't right. Slowly, I opened up the back, pulled open the flap, and realized there was no film in the camera. In my haste to get to the park, I did not load my camera with any film. All that time wasted. All those images vanished. I shouted out some curse words to the peaks. I probably cursed my stupidity. I couldn't believe it. I spent the whole day doing this, and there was nothing to show for it. So I started to head back to the car, and when I got back, I took one last look around, breathed the cool mountain air, and experienced an epiphany. My day wasn't wasted. My images weren't gone. They were etched in my head. I made a vow to myself that day. One. Always check the camera and make sure there's film in it. And two, not to spend my whole life behind a photographic lens, but to sort of look at life from a different perspective.